Senator, um, first of all, the president says something great might be coming. Do you have any idea what that is? I have no idea what he's talking about. We we met with him yesterday, the group a group of Republicans, almost all of us, and he was he was very positive and uh, you know I thought he was very good in the meeting trying to listen to everybody's res uh, uh, reservations uh, and ideas, but I don't know what he's talking about with a great big surprise. Any idea? I guess it'll be a great big surprise to me too. It's gonna be a great big surprise yeah. to you as yeah. well. All right. Did Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell seem to know what the great surprise was, or did they interact? Did they seem to get any oh, closer? Sure. Yeah, I think they've been interacting quite a bit, uh, but I have no idea that uh, they have a, a great surprise uh, in store for us. I know they're working behind the scenes very diligently to try to get to a consensus, uh, but I wouldn't say we're there yet. All right. As I understand it, you, the, one of the the, pro the primary reason you're no is because of the Medicaid issue, Medicaid expansion. Yes. You're opposed to it. Okay, if 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 they were to uh, not to cut Medicaid as much, then of course the people who the Republican side of the spectrum right. that doesn't want to spend more money would now you'd, you'd lose those votes. Right. I mean, it's a balancing act, and you can see it's a, a tough one. It's it's really thread and eye of a needle, and we haven't been. You know, we are very willful people on both sides, and I think I'm advocating for a state that has uh, almost over 30 percent of my uh, constituents are on Medicaid. We have a huge opioid and drug abuse problem in our state. This Medicaid uh, expansion population is 40 percent of the dollars are being used for that. That to me is uh, is critical as a safety net and as a way. To for these folks to find treatment and a cure. And I just can't leave them. I didn't come to Washington to hurt people, and I can't leave them uh, without that kind of coverage. As a side issue, your state and, and Ohio as well, and yes. actually a lot of the New England states seem particularly hit by the yeah. opioid crisis. Uh, do you have any any idea? What's your? Why are so many people in West Virginia in this in this crisis? You know, I think we just have uh, have had uh, workplace injuries where uh, pain medicines have been uh, overly prescribed, uh, and I think that's kind of in and around the Appalachian region. Kentucky also has a major problem here, uh, and then you know it just um, we have had over the last several years a, a very high unemployment, and I think it's sort of that tails into not working, kind of a desperate sort of uh, spiraling into addiction. Well, it seems to me that would be also something that we should be looking at to try to at right. least to stem that, to stop that, and to help these people, but at least to, to stop the problem from growing. Well, Rob Portman and I have been very forceful uh, with the leader and with the president, saying that we need an extra fund for, uh, for uh, substance abuse issues, and that's going to be critical to us. Uh, in our states, I mean, it will help every state, but for where we are, where we're sort of ground central, and for the states that don't have it, they're going to have it. All right. What about um, Senator uh, Hatch, Senator McCain, Senator Collins? To say they, they're willing to work with Democrats. Are you willing to work with Democrats? Well, I have a Democrat counterpart, Senator Manchin, and uh, we work together all the time. Uh, I would say that uh, we'd like to get this over the line uh, w with the group of us because we've worked so hard on it in, in terms of Republicans, but I'm ready to roll up my sleeves and work with the Democrats. I've done it many, many times. Do you find that the Republicans are working with each other? Before we even get to the question, the, I mean, <laughs> because the Republicans are so deeply well, divided, are they working together? Are they working with each other to come to a bill so that you can then work with the Democrats? Yes, but the problem we have is the same problem the Democrats have within their constituency. We have more moderate beliefs and, and more conservative beliefs. We're all conservatives, but it's on a spectrum. And we all have different populations. I think that's what people lose sight of. Uh, I have a, an expanded uh, Medicaid population. There's a lot of people in our conference that d their states didn't expand Medicaid, so it's a non-issue for them. That's where the rub is. Um, what would you be willing to vote for? Well, I think I need uh, opioid dollars, uh, supplemental opi opioid uh, treatment dollars. Uh, I want to see a good growth rate in Medicaid, and I want to see that the um, uh, subsidies that are going to that we're going to uh, put forward in, ta in the form of a tax credit can help that rural, older. West Virginian be able to get coverage that they can afford. Has President Trump reached out to you at all? Yes. He has. What did he say to you? Well, he, uh, a, a lot of things. Uh, I think he's very open to putting more money into it, putting more money into the areas uh, that of the greatest need, which is the lower income area. And uh, he knows that that's a passion of mine. And so. Uh, Would he, did he offer you anything? Yeah, uh, he's getting there. Like what? <laughs> what, 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 what we'll kind of leave that for the big surprise. That's part of the big surprise. He won't tell us. <laughs> yeah. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.